Hey there, it's Michael with BlackBeltProject.com, continuing our series on our Black Belt GTD setup. Uh, the next area that I wanted to talk about was your someday maybe list. Uh, basically, any list tool that you use, and we'll probably talk about that more later on, whether it's paper or digital, you're going to want to set up a someday maybe category. And I divide this into three basic areas. The first is uh, just a someday maybe area of of work projects that I want to work on. You know, I might want to tackle a work project and if I, uh, you know, if I'm strictly looking at work projects uh, of things that I might want to tackle, I separate that out into professional. So I'll have a professional someday maybe and then the second area I have is a personal someday maybe and I consider the things that go on those two lists actual projects that I know that I want to get to. Then I think there's a third category of someday maybe and that is kind of a wish list. I know he kind of, David Allen kind of alludes to this in his book, but the someday maybe category, he's kind of devoted you know, videos I might like to watch, places I like to go, and I consider those kind of like a wish list kind of items. And if you have enough of those and you want to segment those out, I don't see anything wrong with that. but. I kind of like to keep those things a little separate from the, well, you know, like the work projects I'm working on and the personal projects, you know. It's probably going to be more likely that I'm going to want to fix the, the leak in the faucet in the bathroom or a home project a lot sooner than I might want to uh, have a dream of going to some exotic location as far as vacation is concerned. So that's more of a... Uh, I guess a more pressing someday maybe that will probably be more likely to go on my project list a lot sooner. I put the someday maybe category in a list. Uh, I use a digital list so when you're putting together your list you're going to have several types of lists and really uh, how you choose to to keep those is going to be personal preference but personally I prefer a digital someday maybe list because it's easier to read, it's easier to categorize. if I want to reorganize it, move it. With the digital set up the way it is, I prefer that. In fact, my whole GTD system is more on a digital level. And for those of you that are using paper, you're, you, obviously you're going to be a big uh, advocate of paper. Either system's fine. I just prefer it uh, in digital. For your actual list, crossing those off, uh, you know, you can say there's a speed advantage to using paper, uh, so I'm not totally against that for black belt purposes. Uh, but as far as dividing your someday maybe list, that's kind of how I would suggest that you back it up. So anyway, uh, that's the segment on someday maybe. Uh, be sure and check out my website, blackbeltproject.com, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next episode.